I, I was born in this house and uh, I sleep in the same bedroom I was born in. When I was married, of course, I didn't live here. We lived other places, but after my parents died, we bought the home place. And so I'm, I'm living in the house where I was born. Well, I was born in 1923, and I, uh, I got married in 41. <laughs> Now, my parents were from Norway. My dad learned to upholster in school, so he came to America to work. He worked uh, in Chicago. He worked on the Pullman uh, railroad cars, upholstered those. And then he, he uh, sent for my mother. They weren't married yet, so they got married in Chicago and lived there uh, several years. There, I have... Uh, Three of my brothers and one, one sister was born in Chicago. And they moved down here. And then th there was four more born. Uh, and I'm the youngest girl. And I had a younger brother, but they're all, they're all gone except me. I was born here, but uh -huh. the others came on a train to Somerdale. Then uh, from Somerdale, they came, uh, came in a a horse and, and wagon. Well, my, my father came down here first to look over things, and so he found this 40 that was for sale. So he bought this 40. Then he moved the family down, and they lived in a shack till they built the house. And then years later, he bought another 40 uh, that joined this 40. My dad, thought he was going to farm, but he couldn't learn how to hitch up a horse or anything back then. So he, uh, he uh, got a, a poster job in Mobile. Uh, my older brothers would uh, take him to Fairhope and he'd catch the bay boat and go to Mobile and for the week and work. And then on Friday night, he would catch the bay boat and come back. There was no causeway or no, you know, a highway at the end at that time. So he came by boat. Well, we had a happy time. We, it, was a, it was a big family and that was good. We, uh, we just, we would all work. Even when we were small, we would hold, uh, you know, corn or sweet potatoes or, and uh, we always worked. And then when we was through work, and we'd all would go swimming, and we'd have picnics, and just have a good time. I went to school at Somerdale. At that time, they had 12 grades. Now they just have, I think, eight or nine. And and if if they wanted to graduate, they had to go to Foley or Robertsdale. But I graduated from Somerdale. That was uh, 1941. There was 10. Ten of us graduated, five girls and five boys. And that was the 12th grade. And we went, uh, most years we went, I think for eight months. There was one year, I think they ran out of money and we didn't get to go as, as uh, many months. But, but some of the teachers uh, had us come over to our Sonora Community Hall and they taught us there. We, it was small, and we knew everybody, but uh, times have changed, and uh, there's more people, so it's a little different, but we had, we had fun at school. And, uh, a bus came around and picked us up, and uh, we had good teachers, and I thought, and we, uh, I enjoyed school got married in 41 and so we lived, we rented a house and then later on, on we bought a house and at the Jensen place and lived there until my parents died and then we bought the home place and have been living here. Well he was a good farmer I thought uh -huh. and uh, worked hard. 
And he rented some land too, so he was real busy. And we bought out on 32, we bought, it was 200 and some acres. And that was a long way to go and farm, but my husband was in the service. By the time he got back, most of the land was sold, you know, to other people. So he farmed, he had to go way out, I, I guess 10 miles maybe, to Greenwood, we called it. And it was over 200 acres out there. But he planted mostly soybeans out there. But then he had heart trouble, so uh, he, he just lived to be uh, in his 50s. The boys didn't want to go way out there and farm, so we sold it. And, and they just farmed here and their places. Well, I was just a housewife, and I helped on the farm too, so I was busy. I didn't uh, have an extra job. I always had a good big garden because I canned a lot. So we had good good eating. I still have a small garden, but I don't can anymore hardly. And it's just me here. Well, of course, they come and eat, so <laughs> I'm lucky about that. I have, uh, they're not far away. And had three children. The first two were boys, and the, and the last one was a, a daughter. And uh, my oldest boy is still living and lives not far from me, maybe a mile. But my second son passed away, and my daughter lives in Auburn. But she comes down pretty often. And I have, let's see how many grandchildren I have. <laughs> Uh, six uh, grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. Way back, the, the, there's no paved roads, of course. The population wasn't nothing like it is now. People are finding out how nice Baldwin County is, so they keep coming. And then my parents and four children uh, came on a train to Somerdale. And then from Somerdale, they came in a, a, a horse and a wagon. And uh, the wagon uh, hit, hit a stump hole. And my daddy had a record player with the Sindler uh, records. And he had those, uh, he was real careful with them, hit the stump hole and they all flew, flew out but most of them didn't break, so he was happy about that. They were, all, they were all born at Holmes Hospital, which was a small hospital in Foley, above a, a drugstore. And uh, they, uh, they were all perfect. They were all, uh, we were lucky, they were all in good health and all, so. And we, we just had fun growing up together. And, uh, and we still love, all love each other and have a good time when we see each other. We always went to Marlowe Church. And, um, and in the afternoons when I was growing up, uh, all the family would come over on Sunday afternoons and we had a big front porch and we'd always sit on the front porch and visit. And as I grew older, when we finished, uh, our work. We'd go swimming or we'd go on picnics and we just had a good life. I, I liked it the way it was, but my when we bought the place, my husband wanted it to look more mo modern, so he had it bricked. But uh, this house, I guess, was built in 1918, because they moved down here in 1917, so it's it's an old house, but it's we kept it up, and uh, I still enjoy it. I feel like I'm taking care of my mother's house. There was eight of us children, so we needed a big house, and there was four bedrooms here, and of 
course, as the older ones got married, which less and less of us here. But yes, they all like to come home. <laughs> they call this home. So uh, we always have at Christmas, they all come and, uh, and then, you know, different times uh, for special occasions, they'll come too. So it's well used. I had a wonderful mama. <laughs> And uh, well, she, she was just, she, she loved to bake and cook, and uh, she was just a sweet lady. And my daddy was nice too, but we didn't see him as much since he had to go spend uh, most of the week in Mobile. But he was a good provider. He, he saw that we had, we had a Delco, so we, I, I never had, uh, lamps. We had always had electric lights. And then uh, we had a, a water a pump and they'd pump into the a big tank and we always had running water in the house. So we were luckier than most people. Uh, we called it a round barn but it was really like eight-sided but it had stalls in there for cows. My mother milked about six or eight cows, and she'd make butter, or else save the cream. And and when when uh, we went over to pick up my daddy from Mobile, that she would sell it over there to a creamery. It's yeah, so. chickens, pigs, uh, cows, and horse. There was horses. Uh huh. I never liked to ride a horse, but we had horses. A regular farm, uh, farm family. We always had a vehicle, and uh, which was uh, so we were always lucky. We were always we. My daddy provided for us real good. Well, my my parents had uh, friends that were Norwegian. They lived in Fair in uh, Silver Hill, so they would get together sometime, but. They'd talk Norwegian, and I didn't know what they were talking about. But I remember one of my brothers; he would uh, he <clears throat> he had curly hair. He'd like me to comb his hair, and he'd give me a nickel or some <laughs> or a dime to comb his hair. <laughs> that was Aner. Oh yeah, the Mickelsons were all big dancers. Yeah, we yeah we had a lot of fun. We uh, Fairhope, there was a casino, and they would have dances, and we'd go there. And a couple, the uh, two oldest played in in bands around here. And then we went to the PCK, which is in Robert's Tale too. So we had a lot of fun. There was Mickelsons in Mobile for. They just lately, my nephew sold. The, the Mickelson uh, upholstery business. So they were over there for many, many years. My daddy upholstered for uh, Bellingraph Garden Home, and my brother upholstered for our our Capitol building in uh, in Montgomery. So you know they had to be good. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, well, my daddy did some work for. Uh, antique uh, lady and instead of paying him they get you know he got the two chandeliers mm. so I enjoy them mm -hmm. and you know I don't think you see the plate rails very often but that's what my mama had and she had a lot of pretty dishes but of course there was a, uh, eight of us in the family we all had to divide up the dishes so I don't have but a few of her, or her, the original ones, but I found others to put up there. The Norwegian coat of arms. And so my mother framed it. And that's one of my prized possessions. It's called Norsk Oven in, in Norwegian, but it's a coat of arms. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it, <clears throat> we had a, what we call the pump house. The pump was on the, the, the outside of it, but the inside had a bathtub and a commode, and uh, that 
<laughs> this oh. Let's see, buddy, you have it, don't you? Oh, okay, I forgot that. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, just a little blue um, eye, you know, you'd put medicine in, in it and then put it on, in your eye. <laughs> your buddy and his friend, his friend, my daddy drank wine some, so there was a, out in the, what we call the cream house, it was a bottle of wine. And, and they, she told, they told me later they used that little cup and, and drank wine from it. <laughs> oh. I did get to go to Chicago and visit uh, the, the family over there, which was a, a good trip. And once in a while, one of them will come over here, but most of them are still there. I uh, went to uh, the Bahamas and went to uh, Cozumel. Yeah, that was that was real, real, real fun. And I belonged to the uh, Foley uh, Travel Club, and we went by bus. We went to a lot of places. Uh, it was after my dad, my husband died, and so uh, I really enjoyed that. We went to Niagara Falls, we went to, to Washington State and crossed over uh, into British Columbia. And anyhow, we, we just traveled a lot. I've been up in a balloon twice. Oh, I enjoyed it. It was, uh, I was pretty old when I went in it, but uh, my son, my other son, uh, I was out picking up pecans. We always had pecan trees. He came out there running and said, Mama, Mama, I'm going to take you down to Gulf Shores. You, you can try it in a balloon. So I, I did. I went on down there and we rode back to Foley. <laughs> then another time I rode in a balloon too. It was, it was fun, look, you know, being up high and looking down at everything. Norway is a beautiful country. Uh, my niece and her husband were going one year. So they asked me, did I want to go? And I said, yes, I sure do. So uh, I went with them and met uh, a lot of my relatives over there. They could all speak English except one older lady. Uh, they, they teach English in, in the schools now. And so I had a wonderful visit. This is my mother's report card. It's in Norwegian. But uh, when, when her sister was, that lived in Chicago came down, I had to write in English what it all meant. But uh, this was her original report card. <laughs> Let's see if I can see the date. Seven, seven, see I can see 1886, I guess it was was when my mama was born. The, we used to go to Fairhope on picnics. My, uh, the boy, and uh, we used to go to Orange Beach too. But my my, bo my older brothers would would drive the truck and we'd take the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Whoever wanted to get on that truck, we'd go and have picnics. We, oh yeah, we enjoyed the river. It was cold, but it was it was really a good place to swim. And we had a little swimming hole not far from here. We'd walk through the woods, Red Hill Ford, we called it. And we went swimming there a lot. And like I said, Orange Beach, we liked that place to swim. And the Big Mouth, which was the mouth of Fish River that were led into the bay. We'd go there a lot. So we, we had a lot of fun growing up.